Hello you dirty potters, how are you today? The disembodied voice you're hearing right now is simply commentary to go along with this video, but this video is gonna be a little bit special. You see, for quite some time I've been looking at other people's artwork and kind of analyzing my own artwork, and it's finally brought me to the question of what is art versus what is craft versus what is perhaps functional art? And today, I want to ask you that question, but first I want to explain what I'm doing. In this video, I will be making four plates, as simple as I can. It hurts me to say this, but I actually didn't even trim a foot onto these. I trimmed them nice and flat so they would sit even on a surface, and I kind of sanded down a lot of the stuff because I think it would hurt my soul to not sand down my bottoms, even if I didn't trim my bottoms. For quite some time, I've been asking myself, what is the difference in between art and craft? And of course, on this channel, we do both. You see, the definition of art is literally so open-ended that the way someone talks can be art. Poetry. The way someone pretends to be someone else can be art. Probably actors. The way someone even moves can be art. Perhaps even interpretational art, to some extent. But in the ceramic world, we're kind of put into this corner of functional art. If it's not functional, it's sculpture. And if it is functional, it's obviously craft. So I thought to myself, what if I made something that was useful, still applying it as craft, but made it the least artistic thing I've ever tried to do in my life? So these four plates that you're seeing me make right now are simply a result of me making a flat surface and barely any flange, glazing them with the least amount of glaze I can, and putting the least interesting glaze that I can think of on them as well. These are very pure, very simple plates. In some craft circles, these would technically be considered simplistic art style, but at the end of this video, I'm going to ask you a question. For now, just enjoy.
next time. time.
Welt zu. Well, now that you've seen the plates, I want to tell you that I've seen these plates at Walmart. That's right, I decided to duplicate them, exactly how they come, in the exact same shape, nesting into each other one by one in a set of four. So while you might have been thinking about what the difference between art and craft is, I want to repose this question to you with that new piece of information. These are no different from a machine-made set of plates from Walmart that barely even ever touched human hands. But you did just see me make this entire set of plate with my own hands. So my question for you is, what is it that makes this art or craft versus that set of plates at Walmart? Is it the fact that it took skill to make these? Is it that it took a human touch? Is it that I had base control over the item? What is it? I want to hear your comments down below. Because in my mind, if I gave these to somebody and I said, hey, these were made at Walmart, they wouldn't know the difference. But, technically speaking, many people would label these as art or craft simply because someone made them, a crafter made them, an artist made them, but they serve the same function, the same purpose, they can be utilized the same, and they definitely serve some type of function to the user, just like the plates from Walmart. Yet, we don't exactly consider the plates from Walmart art, now do we? I want to hear your comments down below. Leave me as long as a message as you like down in the comments. I really want to hear what you think about this subject. I've thought about it for many years and, you know, I think finally somewhere in the advanced playlist we're going to start taking up and looking at the philosophy of art versus craft and perhaps what separates the two from each other in people's minds. Because, in all honesty, 
the word art is so open-ended that it could literally be anything. And so I leave you with that question. Please tell me what you think down in the comments below. What makes this art or craft versus something that would be the exact same set but sold from a productionist or perhaps made by a machine, never touched by human hands? I can't wait to hear your comments down below. You dirty potters, have a good day.